Wisconsin once again center stage with both vice presidential nominees in the Badger State. Thanks for joining us. I'm Victoria Saha. We have you covered on Vice President Mike Pence's trip to La Crosse and vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris's stop in Milwaukee. Let's get over to News 9's Courtney Terlecki live in the newsroom with a look at the visits. Courtney. Yeah, Victoria, as it's Labor Day today, the workforce a key talking point for both campaign stops. Right now, Harris is actually wrapping up that roundtable discussion with black business leaders in Milwaukee. But first, she started her visit today speaking with Jacob Blake over the phone and meeting with his family. Blake was shot by a police officer two weeks ago in Kenosha after two attempts to tase him didn't work. She then toured a training facility for an electrical workers labor union before holding that roundtable discussion with black business leaders in Milwaukee. Her focus on jobs. Talking about the um, dignity of work and the dignity of human beings and, and, and the importance of leadership. Tomorrow, Biden's wife, Jill Biden, will be in Wisconsin virtually holding a listening with the state treasurer and moms from the Green Bay area on back to school. Meanwhile, Mike Pence stopped at Dairyland Power Cooperative in La Crosse earlier today, making his case to supporters that the Trump administration grew the economy prior to COVID-19. Another big talking point, law enforcement and the unrest in Kenosha. Pence reiterating he and the president support police. Pence also touting the manufacturing jobs he says the Trump administration added in the last four years. And in our first three years, there's only three ways you can describe those years. It was jobs, jobs, jobs right here in Wisconsin and all across the world. You can see right there coming up, U.S. Senator Ron Johnson joined Pence in La Crosse as well. Now, these visits come just a week after both President Donald Trump and presidential nominee Joe Biden visited Kenosha, Wisconsin, once again in the political spotlight as a key battleground state. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Tulecki, News 9, WAOW.